So, this might be the most ridiculous thing I attempt in a very, very long time. Because if you don't know, I play video games pretty much every single day of my life. Now, I wouldn't say I have a problem, but I, I, I really don't remember the last day that went without playing video games. And the reason it's gotten so bad recently is the fact that I actually tore my calf about six weeks ago while playing basketball and I wasn't able to walk. I was on crutches for a month. It really put me in a dark place, even though I did try to stay positive throughout the whole thing, but all I ended up doing pretty much all day, every day, was sit on my butt and play video games, like every single day. And now I'm, well, still sitting here, but uh, I've decided that I'm not going to be that same person. Instead, I'm going to challenge myself for the next month to not play any video games and to get up and be active and change my life. And over the next 30 days, I'm actually going to be documenting it all and putting it into this video. So please, if you have it in your heart to support me along this journey, um, please smack that like button real good and uh yeah because i i really need all the support i can get because i i don't know if i'm gonna go 30 days without playing games i've also decided to set myself a really big challenge where you guys this is probably where you're gonna think i'm completely insane because my goal for the next 30 days is to train hard and try and make the australian men's national basketball team yeah i it sounds ridiculous because it is. Seriously, just imagine me, Champ Chong, representing Australia at the 2019 FIBA Basketball World Cup in China. It seems unrealistic, but I'm gonna do it. And obviously something else I have to do over the next 30 days is to try and not play any video games. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Try and be active, try to be fit, try to be healthy, and not have my, my personal enjoyment of video games in my life. It's gonna be tough, but I think, I think I can do it. So, the first order of business was to make sure that I couldn't fail this challenge in any possible way. And the best way for me to do it was to not have any access to my gaming consoles. So, I decided to put them away in a box, along with my controllers and a few of my favorite games. And this was really difficult for me. I never thought I'd do something like this. I never thought I'd not have any possible access to my games, but it was the safest option available to me. I'm a few days into this challenge and I'm lifting weights at home any chance I can get right now because I can't run too much or anything along those lines and I ended up actually buying a weight set. I've never done that in my entire life but I thought it'd be a challenge, uh, something that I can't back away from if I just have them in my living room all the time. But on the video game side of things, uh, this damn Nintendo 64 stares at me every single day. And it's tough because it's just there. I can't play it and it reminds me I've got 30 days to do this. Well now roughly just less than 30 days. So it's ticking away and I'll, I'll get there. I just gotta resist that urge to play games and I gotta keep on training. So today I'm gonna be training. Uh, it's gonna be a serious hard training session with Adam from Full Court Fitness here in Perth. And I don't know what to expect. I'm a bit worried. I've just warmed up a little bit and I'm a bit sweaty already, so it's not a good sign, but I'm excited to see how I go. Been going for like five minutes. I'm around, I'm around, but woo! <laughs> Alright, losing team. Yeah, suicides. Us versus those guys.
we won, we still have to do planks, but at least we don't have to run. But I think he's going to make it so that we have to plank as long as they finish. Until the last person. Exactly. Three, two, one, go. Go. No. I hate this. Last work, James. Oh. Hurry up. <laughs> Why are they so slow right now? Oh. Come on. Sprint! Let's go to Tyler! Come on! And time, what are you? Bring it in, bring it in! Bring it in! Yeah, look, Champ loves basketball and he can hold his own in the uh, local Wednesday league, but I think his love for pizza is too much. Well, if they don't need someone to run or jump or get rebounds or actually move on the court and just jack threes, I think he's got a good shot. Man, that was exhausting. Uh, I had some good shots in that one. I think I hit like three or four threes in a row, but some of the dribbling stuff was a bit hard, especially with some balls that weren't weighing the same. They weren't pumped up to the same pressure. Probably saw me fail a few times, but I also got to blame some of my uh, teammates because they weren't running the lanes I thought they would and uh, I'm not going to blame myself, you know. I know I've got the skills and I've got the passion and the drive to make the Boomer squad, hopefully I do. But um, yeah, I've got to put more work in. So we'll see how that goes. And just like that, when things were going great, it all went downhill. I had slightly hurt my calf again while training to make the Boomers squad for the World Cup. The hardest part of all this was having to sit on my couch and not being able to pass the time by playing any games. I had just started to get used to not playing video games every single day, but I wasn't prepared for something like this. It really hit me hard and I thought to myself, Maybe, just maybe I left it a little too late. Maybe 30 days wasn't enough time to make the World Cup a squad. And I had started to lose motivation. So, I was just training and um, I'm almost two weeks in at this point. And I'm sort of losing some motivation here and there, but like, I don't know what to do about it. So, I've decided to go to Melbourne, get on a plane and actually go see the trophy itself because it might spark something in me. I'm not 100% sure. There's a potential that it might reinvigorate my drive, my passion to get to the next level, to become a professional, to be on the court with Bogut, with Delhi, with Joe Ingles. Maybe, just maybe if I end up seeing this trophy in person, I maybe get to touch it, I don't know. It might just spark something in me yet again and that might be special. So I'm off to Melbourne to go see that Naismith trophy and uh, it should be a good time. Okay, okay, so just another diary entry here. I've just arrived to Melbourne and uh, the, the flight was about three and a half, four hours. And the thing is, I noticed something on the flight. Um, it was actually quite challenging to not play games and it was different for me because I noticed that usually I play games either on my iPhone or I'll play them on, on my Nintendo Switch or something along those lines. And I didn't have that on the plane this time around. I can't play games. So it got me kind of itching. I watched a movie or two. Didn't really do much. I slept a little bit, but uh, here I am. And then, uh, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna go see the trophy and hopefully it raises my spirits a little bit and gets me going and gets me through this challenge. It can only be one champion. Okay guys, so I just got to Federation Square and I can see the trophy. I can see Jock Landale. This is gonna be crazy. I'm gonna try and get to the trophy itself. I'm trying to get to the cup here, but Jock Landale seems to be guarding it, man. How are we doing? Yeah, how are you doing, man? Yeah, welcome, good, welcome good. back to Australia. Appreciate it. Now, I have a question for you. So, I've been training recently. Right. And, training uh, in what? you know, basketball. Oh, okay. And uh, I thought I was tall, and then, then I come up to you, what are you, 6'11? Yeah, like about that. that, about that. Now, would you have any tips for me as to get better? What, what would you say? Uh, you mean like grow like, or no. be better at basketball? Can I grow anymore? No, yeah, I'm 27 know. now. Yeah, man. I don't know. My mum used to just kind of hang me up a coat hanger and just let me, you know, at night I'd just kind of stretch out. But uh, basketball wise, 
Uh, you don't really look like the kind of guy with the athletic abilities. You might be stuffed there. Damn! Oh, that's savage, man. <laughs> well, if, if you were to get any person, not even a basketball player in the entire world, to fill in for the Boomers and help you guys out, World Cup, who would it be? Like anyone in the entire world. Probably not you, but uh... <laughs> I, I really, really want to touch this. Am I allowed to? No, I don't know. You gotta ask someone else. Someone else? No, you. It. I'm not gonna put it on Jock. No. no you, oh yeah, put it on me. Can't, can't touch it though. No. No. no I'm getting nervous. told they're off getting screen nervous. that I'm not allowed to touch it. <laughs> so I will not touch it. Thanks, man. It was no uh, great meeting you. This is gonna be the most awkward handshake oh, ever. Appreciate it. And uh, good luck. Cheers. I've just sort of found out that Ben Simmons might not be playing for Australia at the World Cup and this sucks because if I make the team I can't play with my boy Ben Simmons but the good thing the only good thing about this is it means that there's one open roster spot which would go to me and I would replace my boy Ben Simmons on the team and run the show I've got more motivation than ever to surprise the coaches I have a tiger, man. I have a tiger, come on. Come on, let's go. You can cut them over to a toe. Hard work and determination deserves reward. I haven't played video games for almost a month now, and well, I've been rewarded because it's time to unveil something that I just got sent, and I'm I'm pretty nervous to uh, open this up because I received an email on top of this, which I'll tell you guys in a second about, but look at this. It is my own custom, custom Australian Boomers jersey. Look at that, Champ Chong, number 18. Because, well, I'm born on the 18th of January, so that's why I wear that number. And uh, it's my very own. I can't believe I've been given one. I'm going to cherish this. And on top of that, this is crazy to say, but an email just told me that I've been invited to a training session with the team. Okay, here we are. We've arrived at the training facility. It's my first training session with the Boomers. I got all my stuff in my bag. 
and I can't wait to train with my heroes, Patty Mills, Andrew Bogut, Jock Landau, and Joe Ingalls. Did I already say Joe Ingalls? I don't know. I'm just too excited. Let's go train with my team. I see Jonah Bolden. It's Luke Long. Right there. Okay, it's Patty Mills and Joe Ingles right over there. Check this out. Look, Joe Ingles takes a shot, makes the shot. How mad is this? Okay, so uh, the boomers are training behind me. Uh, and I'm joining the team. <laughs> I'm tempted to go in there, squish some, make some splash, and make it rain, but uh, I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, this is mad, like, there's so many amazing players around. This is so good. We spent the next 45 minutes watching the team train. We even got to see a press conference with Aaron Baines. Now, for some reason, I wasn't invited to train with the team, but I, I, I still had a good time. That, that was awesome. It blew my expectations. I can't believe I actually got to see the Australian national team train and then got to see them get interviewed and do the media press conference and all that. But sadly, I, I was told by assistant coach Luke Longley, stepped me aside privately. I wasn't allowed to record it or anything, but he said, sorry, mate, you're not making the team. We love you, but Australia's got a full squad and I completely understand that. I'll still rep Australia. But he did say he's got something special in store for me, so I'm excited to find out what that is. Now it turned out that even though I didn't make the squad, I'd still be traveling to China for the FIBA Basketball World Cup to support my nation. But before we could get all that underway, I got to see Australia play against Canada in a warm-up game in my hometown of oh, Perth, Australia. We are here. Let's let's go. Let's check this out. We're here at Perth Arena, and uh, I actually can't believe I'm here. Now I'm not going to be one of the one of the boomers like Golding there, and uh, but I'm an honorary one, so I'll take that. It's the best thing I can get right now, and. Uh, I just can't imagine what it's going to be like when, I, when I'm in China watching them play for the World Cup. It's going to be, it's going to be amazing, but um, we're going to go and uh, just see some warm-ups and stuff and uh, check it all out, so let's go. It's Aaron Baines. So I'm currently sitting here in pretty much an empty arena and the fans will be here in about an hour. They'll open up the floor and everything and uh, I'm just dreaming what it would be like to actually be out there as one of the boomers. Alrighty, so there it is. Australia actually won, and uh, yeah, I guess I guess they don't need me, but um, yeah, congratulations to Australia. I can't believe I'm going to be seeing them actually play in China, but for now, let's go back to my place for a second so I can talk to you guys about something. Alrighty, so here we are. After 30 days of not playing any video games, how do I feel? Um... I do feel a bit healthier, I will say that, but it's not like I'm fully craving for games and I'm going crazy or anything, but I do miss playing games online with my friends. It's probably the most, like, thing that I'm missing. Now, I'm going to be 100% real with you guys here. Even though this video is a mock doc, mockumentary, documentary, whatever you want to call it, um... I did actually stick to this challenge for 30 days. I didn't touch a game for 30 days and it, it was difficult at times. Another thing to point out is that on the training side of things and the working out and everything, 
I couldn't go as hard as I wanted to because I was coming off of that calf injury. And even though my mind was saying, yes, my body was going, hell no. Now, what I will say is that I actually did lose a bunch of weight, even though some of the camera shots with me in the jersey towards the end of this video don't do me any justice. They really don't. Um, for some reason, I was incredibly bloated during those filming days, and I don't know why. I think it was a combination of things with me training harder and changing my diet slightly towards those final days just to get even more fit. Um, and I think my body just retained a ton of water and I just looked big towards the end, but I actually do look all right in the jersey, even though it is a size smaller than I would have liked, but yeah, I actually look all right in it compared to what I did in the video before. So how much weight did I actually lose throughout all this? Well, I actually lost about 10 kilos throughout the whole process, which is insane, over 30 days. Now, I am pretty big, I'm about six foot three, six foot four, and I weighed quite a lot, well over 100 kilos. And yeah, to see that progress throughout all that is, is just amazing, even though I wanted to do it even better, but I, I couldn't because physically my leg just didn't allow me to train every single day as hard as I wanted. And uh, just before I do end it here, I want to thank a few people and I have to read them off because otherwise I'll forget all of them. Um, I want to thank my sister. I want to thank my friends, Harris, Kevin, Cody, Adrian and his team, Adam and the Full Court Fitness guys. And then also I want to thank Basketball Australia for hooking this up and some of the opportunities. And obviously I want to thank FIBA for setting all this up and they're gonna be flying me out to China, which is amazing. If you guys wanna follow the rest of my journey to the World Cup itself while I'm over there, make sure you follow me on all my socials like Twitter and Instagram, just at Champ Chong. And yeah, hopefully uh, Australia win the World Cup because that would be incredible. Anyway, I'll see you guys in China.